We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We travel so far, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. To the mundane, we are known as the three wise men or three kings. But the fact that the three of us appeared, then disappeared, alerts you to our existence, being an astrological one. As above, so below. It must be known that the three wise men are symbolic of the three stars of Orion's belt, which are also aligned with the three pyramids of Giza. The three stars of Orion's belt are called al Natok, al Nalam, and Mentaka. In the Nativity story, we travel from the east, following the star of Bethlehem, to the birth of the sun. Astrologically, during the winter solstice, the three stars of Orion's belt align with the star Sirius, and point to the rising sun. The three wise men, or three kings, are collectively called the Magi. The word Magi, is the origin of the word magician. The three wise men were master magicians, master Magi. Mr. Magu. The term Magus, was originally a term used to refer to a Zoroastrian priest who practiced astrological magic. This is how the Magi are said to have known of the star prophecy. The three wise men are given the names, Gaspar or Caspar, and Indian scholar, usually depicted as an elderly man, around age 60, with a white beard. My name is, Melchior, a Persian scholar, usually depicted as a middle-aged man around age 40. And my name is, Balthazar, a scholar from the kingdom of Saba, which was in present-day Ethiopia and southern Arabia. I am usually depicted as a dark-skinned young man around age 20. The three wise men also represent three geographical and cultural areas. The three wise men also represent the three stages of an adult man. And, these three stages also correspond to the riddle of the Sphinx. What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, and three in the evening? This is why the Sphinx sits guarding the three pyramids of Giza. The gifts of the Magi are also symbolic, esoteric gifts not exoteric gifts. The gifts of the Magi are gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold is traditionally associated with kings. The gold that we bring is the fluid from the pineal gland, that flows down to the spinal cord, to the sacral plexus in the body. The sacral plexus is also known as the holy claustrum, or the santa claustrum, i.e., santa claus. Once the oil reaches the holy claustrum, it must return from which it came. Back in the cerebrum, the oil rests for roughly three days at the optic thalamus gland, then it returns to the pineal gland, illuminating both the thalamus and pineal glands, opening the third eye, bringing about the light of the world, the risen messiahs of Christ consciousness. Frankincense, to offer, have I. Incense owns, a deity nigh. Prayer and praising, voices raising, worshipping God on high. The gift of frankincense is used for cleansing and worship. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume, breathes a life, of gathering gloom. Sorrowing sighing, bleeding dying, sealed in a stone cold tomb. The gift of myrrh is used to bless the dead and to take away the dead smell. The combination of frankincense and myrrh is used in the anointing of the head, the location where Christ lives, dies, and resurrects, Kalgatha also known as Calvary. This combination preserves a state of balance, calmness, and peace. In the vault of heaven, Osar, is represented by the pineal gland. Oset, is the pituitary gland, and, Heru, is the egg-shaped optic thalamus. These are the three dimensions that we, the Magi, exist in, the stars of Orion's belt, the great pyramids of Giza, and the human body. Three times three equals nine. The three gifts of the Magi, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, represent kingship, divinity, and death, respectively, which in the Hermetica, represent astrology, magic, and alchemy, the three occult sciences. All three are interconnected, in practice, and worldview. The cosmos itself, is arranged in a triple hierarchy of, the material, celestial, and divine. For in the harmony of the world, Things that are super-celestial, must be drawn down to the celestial, and things that are celestial, must be drawn down to the terrestrial. 
And, there is one sublime, operative virtue, that is diffused through all things. Thus, Thus is, is the mystery of the Magi, the, the secret key to celestial, celestial magic, magic, astrological magic, and zodiacal magic. magic.